In this tutorial, we're going to learn the offset V stitch. And you can see really carefully here that um, every double stitch here is like vertical, but then the next one is going up on a diagonal. So then vertical, diagonal, vertical, diagonal. The wonderful thing about this pattern, and I really do love this pattern, is that it's identical with each line. So no matter what happens on the end, it's always be the same no matter what side that you're starting on. And if you look really carefully, you can see the zigzag of those diagonals are right on top of each other to make this so. So this is the offset V stitch, and I find this is really wonderful, and it makes your crochet look complicated. So and we're going to start so off with their slip knot. Hello, my name is Michael Selleck, and I'm the creator of Mikey's Mail. Together with my friends at All Free Crochet and I, we'd like to present you with the offset V stitch. Now the offset V stitch is in stitch counts of three. So no matter what you do, just remember three. So this is already one, two, and three. Decide, is it big enough? If not, continue. One two, three. So don't bother getting your calculator and figuring it all out. You don't have to. So one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three. So just continue along and go as long as you want to, but just remember at the very end you're going to add one. So just let add one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and when you determine it's big enough, just add one. So let's go on. So to we're going to start project. our project, and here we go. So you want to look for the fourth empty stitch. So don't count the one on the hook. So one, two, three, and go to the fourth. I just happen to have my thumb and my finger there just for my own reference. And so I just want to stick it into the fourth for double crochet. So this actually is the one that is going to be leaning on a diagonal, uh, just like so, but you can't really tell that at this moment. So what we need to do is double crochet, but we want to skip over the next two empty uh, chain. So one, two, going to the third. So just double crochet into the third one over. So now you can see now that one has just been pulled over on a diagonal. So that's now chain one. So you'll always do this and then going into the exact same stitch where this vertical one is going in for another double crochet. So this one Every time you put in that gap and put in the second one there, the second one is always going to be the one on the diagonal. So no, what we need to do now is do another vertical double crochet. So we're going to skip over the two, one, two, go to the third for a double crochet. This is actually a really, really simple pattern. So now what we need to do is put in our chain one again for the gap, just like you did here. So you want to chain that, chain one and then double crochet into the exact same chain where that last one was just put to cause this one to be on the angle. So let's go again. We're going to put down a vertical double crochet. So one, two, going into the third. My apologies, my project switched over. So let's try it again. Just one, one, two, and three. Okay, chain one, and then into the same stitch to cause it to go over like that. Okay, and now we're into the very end one here. So what we're going to just do is just put one double crochet just like normal, like it's a vertical. And that's how you'll finish off every one of the projects. So in actual fact, this chain over here is like the vertical, and so is this one here at the end. So no matter what you do, no matter how you start the next line, it'll always be the next done. line. All we've got to just do is turn our project and chain up four. So one, two, three, and four. And then what we have to do is right into the exact same stitch, like where that came out of for a double crochet. And now this one is considered the angled, right? So in actual fact, what you're going to be looking for is where the next one, see how this one's on the angle, this one's straight up, that's exactly where you're looking. But if you count it here, one, two, and three, it's the same stitch, right? I'm just trying to give you a, a visual on where you need to be on your project. So there's your straight up, let's put in your gap, and then let's put in the one that's diagonal into the same stitch. So the stitches will all come out of the ones that are vertical. So let's go again. So one, two, three, or look for the one that's vertical for double crochet. Let's chain one and then put in the other one into the same for the one that's on the diagonal. Okay, so let's do it again. So looking through one, two, 
and 3, which is the one that's the one that's vertical. Okay, and chain 1. And then put it into the same hole. So now we're coming up to the final edge. So all we just got to do is just double crochet into the actual chain. Don't go into the gap. Go right into the chain part and then just double crochet as normal. So you see that the edging is actually pretty easy. So all we need to do to start the next line is just turn it and just like we just did, chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And now just going into where this originates, right in the bottom. And we're just going to double crochet. Okay, and that's considered the angle. So now what we need to do is count over two, one, two, and go to the third one, which is right there. And this is the one that appears vertical. Okay, and then gap with the chain and then into the same hole for the one that's on the side. So one, two, and three. Let's put the gap in with the chain and then this is the diagonal one. Then one, two, and three. And then chain one, and then into the same stitch to cause it to go on a diagonal. And again, we're on the last one here. So we just go want to go into the actual chain. Don't ever go into the gap. Go into the actual chain itself for one double crochet. Okay, so all you need to do again, just turn it, chain up four. So one, two, three, and four, and then double crochet to where this originates. Okay, and then we just count over the three, or look for the one that's going vertical. So one, two, three. Okay, and chain one, and do the one into the same stitch to cause it to go diagonal. And then count over one, two, three. Chain one, so good luck with that and we hope you enjoyed the offset v-stitch. This one's actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this particular stitch. And again right at the end, just go into the chain itself. Don't ever go into the gap. And voila, you have your offset v-stitch.